Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a Vigoroth meta. There's no way around it. We're in a Vigoroth meta. That's what Jungle Cup is. So sometimes you just get tired of running into Vigoroth, neutral matchup, neutral matchup, neutral matchup, sometimes even bad matchups. And you just want to go anti, anti Vigoroth, you know, let's go ahead and defeat the best mon in the cup. So today we're going to be going over a video from Yusai Ferrer, Ferrer. I'll put the Twitch in the, uh, in the description below, but we've featured one of his videos before. We're going to feature another one here with, uh, Palosand and Palosand is a ghost type Pokemon. So you're going to be taking, uh, resist, double resisted from uh, the counters of Vigoroth and double resisting the body slam of Vigoroth, but it also is a ground type, which means you're also going to be resisting Rock Slide. So it just fully destroys Vigoroth. Um, also, really insane against Steelix, which is also the number one. Uh, well, it's number one on PV Poke uh, for Pokemon in this cup, but Vigoroth is probably the most used. Um, yeah, so the things you really got to be worried about are the water types for sure. And then we're also going to be using Obama Snow, which is um, obviously bad against Vigoroth. But the thing is, we also have Sableye in the front, which is pretty good against uh, Vigoroth as well. So with all that in mind, let's go ahead and get into the games. But first, if you have not subscribed to the channel, um, I see that 30% of y'all are subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, definitely helps me out a lot. Uh, and then commenting and liking the video also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And again, we know about algorithms here in Pokemon Go. So let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, so let's start the games here. All right, Whimsicott lead obviously is not very good for Sableye. Being a dark type means that you are taking super effective damage technically from these fairy winds. And if the Moonblast ever hits you, it's probably going to KO you. Um, and, but the thing is, Shadow Claw is neutral and um, Foul Play is resisted, but we went past the return just to show them that we're at the move. You have to shield if you want to survive. And then he throws again right here just because we don't want to... Um, we want to do damage before they throw their move. And yeah, I think if we shield here, technically, if there's a Moonblast, we could actually farm down. Grass Knot does cost a lot as well, so able to farm down there, which is nice to know now. Sableye does do well into that matchup. You definitely don't want Pelipper into, into Palosand. Um, that obviously is an insanely good matchup for Pelipper, um, having Weather Ball uh, water. It's also not the best for Obama Snow, but you technically resist... There's a Palosand on the other team? Okay, well... Sucks for them. All right, Dragonite, you get to the move at the same time as Dragonite, so they could CMP here if they want to, probably. You do survive, so it looks like we're going to go for shields up, uh, or the shield advantage here. If they allow this to go through, it will KO the Dragonite. Um, also, if they decide to shield and then KO us, we obviously have a Bomb of Snow that can come in doing double super effective to this. Um, they do come in with the Vigroth, so almost always in this cup, Vigroth is such a safe swap that... A lot of um, a lot of teams definitely using Vigoroth as a safe swap. Y'all can just attest to this in the comments, but I know I've seen a ton of it. Um, yeah, and Rock Slide's going to be their best move against us. You can just see how little damage this is doing. Um, we can just go for extra energy here and then maybe throw before the next Rock Slide if we want to. Interesting to shield. I see what now he's doing now. He just wants to elongate this game as much as possible to allow for the Dragonite switch back. Um, yeah, and then he undercharges this to maybe go for farm down. Nope, still KOs. But able to get to this Dragon Claw against the Dragonite. Um, if they do shield, we'll probably have to switch. Okay, yeah, switching, doing a little bit more damage. It is going to be Heracross. Definitely not a mon you see too much. Um, I think Home Slice Henry did put out a video about Heracross. Uh, but I don't know the exact team, but they do go for a counter down and they win CMP. Good counting here by the opponent. Um, these battles are around 2850 at the beginning and around 2950 at the end. So going to go for a farm down here. Gonna, I was going to say half to shield, but I guess they have rock slide close combat. Okay. All right. I guess they didn't have to shield, but this was a, this was a close one here for sure. Um, Heracross, not a mod I've seen before, except for the one video with Home Slice Henry. So maybe it's going to come more often now. Uh, Magnezone, Shadow Magnezone, 
definitely doing a lot for the likes in Pokemon Play for uh, Palasha. Um, she used uh, Shadow Magnezone and <laughs> really destroyed a lot of people with it. Um, I was thinking about making a video with it uh, just from her Pokemon Play experience. Um, I still might do that. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make any Pokemon Play videos. Um, it would be a lot for me to make. It would be uh, time consuming, but I actually think I would enjoy it. So I might do it either way. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that. Um, other, it's basically making other things besides GBL. All right, the Cummin Quagsire, um, we actually end up KOing it. Uh, we're not going to make it to the the Shadow Ball here, which would definitely uh, KO the Decidueye. But now we've at least got it in a decent matchup here. Um, I believe it could have Brave Bird, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Plus, they might just want to go for Shadow into... Uh, the problem is this could be Mirror Shot, which would do a ton. But at least it's out of energy now, and I guess we can go for the one shield farm down, and then maybe another shield farm down. Uh, not farm down, but get to two uh, foul plays against Decidueye. And that's really going to be our wind con here. I guess Decidueye is using Spirit Shackle and Frenzy Plant, because it did get the Community Day move right. So I guess that's the move set in this cup. I honestly haven't seen very much of it here. Um... Yeah, we do end up getting to the move here, and that's going to be GG. So in Pokemon Play, you know that, or not in Pokemon Play, in OG Open Great League, obviously Sableye is very neutral, and it's going to be pretty neutral here in this cup as well. I mean, it's pretty decent against um, Vigoroth. They can throw Rock Slide into you, but otherwise you resist everything else. Um, and while they do double resist the Shadow Claws, you still can get the Foul Plays off, which are pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure if two foul plays KO, but I'm, I'm sure it's close. All right, uh, they lead here with Glissopod, which is a, another interesting pick here. Um, does have a lot of coverage. Could also have Aerial Ace, another good thing for this cup um, to try to catch people out. But uh, we are going to make it to this move. Uh, I think this is a high attack stat Sableye, so it's not like the IVs saved it here. Um, they do come in with Vigoroth, and obviously we have Palace Wine. A Paloswine, pil pa oh my god, uh, Palosand, Palos, I'm thinking of the, uh, the ice ground type, Paloswine, <laughs> another Pokemon I don't have actually, uh, I think it goes to, I think you need XLs for it in Great League, so, uh, they have, uh, Steelix here, probably just not gonna show this, it could be Crunch, uh, it probably is Crunch, that's the best move for it to use here, um, and then we're gonna be able to get a shield here, this kind of plays out um a lot like the lantern matchup against steelix where um they could win i guess if they want to but you could also win if you want to um definitely gonna go for the farm down here have the foul play for the last mon and while wow, we just have almost no hp again buzzwool another one actually two buzzwools here not a mon you see a lot of i did see two yesterday actually so maybe a lot of people using it nowadays mantine not going to be good for us here um, Aerial Ace, obviously super effective, Wing Attack super effective against this, and then if it has, like, uh, well, no matter what its second move is, it's going to be super effective against the Palosand, uh, just because, um, it either has Ice Beam, which is super effective against Ground, or it's going to have, um, Water Pulse, which is super effective also against Ground. So, uh, we do get to another move here, but... I can't imagine winning this game because they still have another shield after this and they actually have a lot of energy from this farm down. Um, uh, it's a weird switch in from our opponent. I actually don't get this switch in because now you resist everything this does, whether it's the lunge or the superpower. And if anything, if it's the superpower, it's even worse uh, because now we're going to just farm this all the way down. I guess they're just going to have a move on Mantine, right? Yeah. But if they don't have a move, we probably get to two Shadow Balls here after the farm down. <sighs> no, that's tough. Oh, it has Power Punch. Uh. Okay, you go for the bait and then the Shadow Ball. They actually got the one turn switch in. wow wow i i 
I don't know about this. Uh, I think the opponent maybe was trying to, if I'm guessing, just BM for the uh, for the switch back in because this was that was a weird game played by our opponent here. And I gotta I gotta remind you all, this is an 18 uh, 28 uh, 28 50 ish game, I believe, in this first set. Maybe it's around 2,800. Let's say around 2,800. So this is not an easy game. Uh, uh, wild. Okay, I got to get past it. All right. Uh, we go for the foul plays here. Uh, we go for the foul play bait in the first one, and I guess he's going for the uh, return for the kill here on the second one. Uh, we don't care if they shield it or not because then we just come with the bomb of snow, but also winning switch here is also guaranteeing us a possible Vigoroth here in the back. So then we have this, and if they have something that's... Well, they're double weak to uh, Palo Sand, and that's going to be great for us so skarmory is pretty good against both armand in the back line so having it here in the front is obviously really good we go for the cmp um now we have to we have to remember it could go for brave bird right away and dip or they could be going for the sky tech it gets to both at the same time on the first way through on the second way through it takes one more to get to um to that move so it looks like we're going to build up I actually don't think I would have thrown here. I think I would have built up and then switched the Obama Snow. But now, we're actually, we're too far in at this point because this does have Stone Edge. So I guess we just let this go. And then now we're going to play a, a brutal game here against the Stone Edge. But we're going to have a Shield Advantage, which is nice. Um, technically, we would win CMP, but they do throw right here. All right. If this is Stone Edge, we can actually build up for a lot here. They can't switch. They switched before we did. I like the huge energy build up here. Um, again, we do win CMP if we want to go for CMP here. And obviously, we do one shot. Now, we do have a lot of energy going back into the um, Skarmory matchup. So probably just going to throw Icy Wind right away. Oh, my graphic is wrong to the right. I will see if I can fix that in post. But I don't think I can. Okay, we're running Icy Wind. Let's remember that. Okay, that's why the Mantines didn't switched out because it was debuffed two times. Okay, interesting. All right, another Skarmory lead here. Um, it makes sense more now that the play happened. But um, they also still could have gone for the Ice move against the Palisand. And then you saw how low we got. They could have just gone for the Lunges as well. Okay. Anyways, still, I think, wrong play, but uh, does make a little bit more sense, at least. Uh, they do go for the catch. They do not catch. Luckily for us, we don't have to throw right away. We still have a lot of HP to work with, and we know they're not at the move. Not, not a lot of HP, but we still have HP to work with, and we know that they're not at the move yet before we get to it. Um, we do get the attack debuff here, which is a, a good reason to uh, have... Or one of the big buffs this season, I guess, is uh, Scorching Sand was given to Palo Sand. There's a lot of sand in this castle here um we uh <laughs> all right they do have a whiz cache here in the back we can get to only the scorching sand if we want a cmp it did seem like it was a cmp here so a uh, good call here um obviously we're gonna get one shot we do get the attack debuff which is nice and we do have the um okay interesting play here by your opponent uh definitely keeping us on our feet which is nice but probably gonna be able to get the shield here they do get the farm down but we are gonna be able to shield and farm this down with the um with the obama snow here um another thing to note is uh he's not using the shadow obama snow he's just using the regular obama snow which gives you a little bit more health but technically both are pretty frail in in a general sense but this cup is pretty water heavy so having a grass mon is nice but again the one thing that we have a uh, weakness toward is that uh, Vigoroth, obviously, um, I think I've said in one, of, in one of my earlier videos, I'm not too keen on running things that are weak against Vigoroth in this cup, but obviously, see, we have two answers to Vigoroth, so having a third that's bad against it is not the worst. Um, this is obviously Aerial Ace here, so just going to let it go. Aerial Ace still not the best move in the world, so... Um, yeah, just going to go for the damage here. I think it was buffed two seasons ago, but still not the greatest move. You'll live this one, so if you want to go for a shield advantage here, that would be nice. Um, or we can go for a uh, switch advantage by throwing this. It does go all the way down to 0 HP. Um, if they do shield, we are already KO'd and we just don't know it. But we can always come in with a bomb of snow, maybe shield once, get a big farm here. Um... Technically, one Aerial Ace doesn't KO us. They're going to get to two here, though, so I wonder if we're going to go for a CMP on that. Okay, yeah. Oh, we actually went one turn before? Okay. 
Good to note, I guess. Um, technically, we'll live by a lot now. Yeah, I like the no shield here. Um, gonna leave it all on Palisand. They did have a water up front, so hopefully... Interesting. They brought in something that takes devil. So I guess it's Altaria in the back, if I was to guess. Um, that's kind of weird. You would come in with a dragon and a flyer, so it's devil weak to... Okay... Shadow Ball KOs, nice. Um, he is running, okay, so if he wasn't running uh, Razor Leaf on this, maybe it would be a different game. Uh, but yeah, close game, I guess, uh, nonetheless. But coming in Dragonite with a, a Bomb of Snow with energy and a shield is a bit sus. I'll say that. <laughs> Gyarados. Okay, at th this point, he is like 2850. I do remember this game specifically because uh, when I was watching the stream, I was like, man, I haven't seen a Gyarados in this cup at all, uh, much less a Shadow one, but it's actually not bad, right? You resist the counters of Vigoroth, but you're very squishy, so they're going to bait you with the Rock Slides, and even the Body Slams still do a lot. Um, but it is it is a very, very interesting pick and one that I think is not as bad as people think. And then it's also really good against, like, Whiskash. Um, probably probably pretty good against Quagsire. Um, you're probably not very good against Steelix, even though you're water type, just because uh, Steelix is just trying to do fast, fast move damage, and you're very susceptible to that in Great League as Gyarados. So they end up coming with a Vigoroth, and you guys know the drill at this point. We are hunting Vigoroths, as uh, Home Slice Henry would say, and... We are uh, enjoying it. <laughs> All right, uh, able to get a ton of farm out of this. Goes for CMP, obviously wins CMP against Vigoroth. Vigoroth, very bulky mons. Palisand, obviously not very uh, uh, very attack weighted. Um, goes for the Shadow Ball here. Probably could have gone for a Scorching Sand, but it's fine. Um, Going to come in with a Bomb of Snow. Going to be able to Icy win this. Um, a Bomb of Snow is obviously not very good against this, but... We are reducing its damage, and it takes a ton here in Great League. So, yeah, going to have the shield and going to use it and just going to go for the Icy Wind for sure. Yeah. GG. Um, yeah, this Icy Wind actually does a ton to Buzzwall, but Buzzwall is a legendary Pokemon, so in order for it to be under 1,500, it has to have very low level, uh, which is why it takes so much damage from that. Umbreon. Uh, not a mon you see very much in this cup, but Umbreon obviously is very, I mean, you guys know me. I love, I love the dark types. So, uh, Umbreon is very neutral still in, in, in this cup in general. Um, yeah, again, it's the same thing like, uh, like I was saying at the beginning of this video with Sableye, um, just very neutral in open Great League and therefore going to be pretty neutral in this cup. Um, technically some Sableyes do win, um, the one shield. If they shield this one and then they the one to zero shield i should say um he decides to let it go the umbran going to be pretty low on energy obviously we don't want to bring the ghost type into this so going to come in with the obama snow um technically you can take one move here it's not going to do that much i mean it probably does like 35 percent haven't really run this matchup in a while yeah it looked like like 35 to 40 percent uh gonna go for the energy ball which is going to ko this for sure whereas the icy wind would obviously not ko um they have a, a scavalier um this matchup's probably not the worst i mean this is drill run for sure um looks like it does about 50 percent how much does scorching sand do here are we going to go for the shadow ball it it's neutral because of the um steel typing uh it's super effective against the steel and then resisted by the bug so i mean oh we get acid sprayed Oh no, but it is an electric type here in the back. So we're double resisting the electric moves. We can definitely go for a double scorching sand. Only thing is, do we want to shield? No, we just go for let's KO this thing, get it out of the way. And we double resist the counters. So maybe we make it to a move, but um, I do like this play actually. So we remove that acid spray debuff from us and we reduce the damage here that this Cavalier can do, but but we double resist, so we shield this. But they're going to get to a move probably before we can farm it down. It is resist. I mean, it is pretty squishy. Oh, my God. 
Wait, we won that game. That is a that's a wild game to say the least. All right, lantern here in the front. Obviously, Obama Snow would be really good against this, and actually, both of our back line is pretty good against this. So I wonder if we're gonna go for a switch at some point to Obama Snow. Um, maybe we try to catch the next one, or is he just gonna play this matchup out in the in the zeros and then let Obama Snow? Okay. They do come in with Vigoroth. You guys already know what to do. Palo Sand, if they come in Vigoroth and then win the game. He's going to go f uh, try to get up to a move and then swap. And then, okay, he catches. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, even if they didn't throw the move right away, we still could have just swapped into this. Even if they have an extra energy, it really doesn't do that much. The Rock Slide is going to be the best, and that is resisted again. Uh, goes for the CMP, which is okay. Um, all we've seen in the front was Lantern, which is something we're good against anyways, so going for the CMP instead of going for that extra energy is fine. And they do actually come back in with a Lantern. Obviously, this is Surf. We could shield this. Um, they are in a weird position where they're showing us something we're good against. Oh, that's weird. Um, I guess they wanted to eat some of the energy and then come in with a Bomb of Snow, but uh, it is weird to have come into this. Um, we do go for the the... I was going to say the catch. We go in for the Sableye here who has energy. You're going to try to get this off the Obama Snow, but the Obama Snow is going to be able to farm down. This Obama Snow does have a ton of energy. Um, we're going to bring in ours and obviously try to ice you. And unfortunately, when we come in, we get the one turn delay. I mean, you can see in the top left corner, we are lagging a little bit. Um, this Obama Snow has a billion energy. We're going to have to probably use a shield at some point because um, they can get to three before we can get there. Oh, wow, let's it go. So we're going to go for the Shadow Ball and try to KO this. Um, we are close, and they do try to catch, but we go for the extra energy and um, go for the undercharge here and then maybe go for farm down, but uh, ends up KOing, and we're going to get to the Shadow Ball, and that's going to be GG. That shield advantage really helped us a lot here in the end game because they end up not throwing anything, not being able to throw anything into the... Oh! They lived with zero HP, and then it was a... Dang, it was a simul KO. That would have been a, that was a tough game for us though, to be honest, because the um, yeah, that shield actually did save us the loss though. We would have lost if we didn't have that shield. But uh, yeah, their Obama Snow just had a million energy and uh, was yeah able to use that for success to uh, take out our own Obama Snow. So could let this go. Obama Snow is fine into this. Also, if there's a mud bomb, we actually live. Okay, yeah, and then we'll get to the foul play, and then they switch into Tentacruel. So going to come in Palo Sand, um, going to still have this as a as a catch potential for later. Obviously, this is a really good matchup. They do have Scald, so I like throwing here before the Scald, making them commit to their last shield if they want to get it off. Or they most probably, well, the Whizcatch still has a lot of HP. Is it Triple Water? This is a little bit of a weird one. Um, okay. Honestly, I think I would just go for the Shadow Balls. Okay, I, I like that he goes for Shadow Ball here. So the, the real reasoning here is that Obama Snow is not great into this, and if we can get a shield, that's fine. Um, and we're probably going to end up shielding this as well because Obama Snow is set up... We're trying to set up Obama Snow for success. If they ever bring in the Whizcash, we have the Obama Snow. And um, yeah, they do end up catching here, but luckily we do throw the uh, Scorching Sand. And uh, probably can bring in the Obama Snow here. Yeah, I'm going to just go for an easy farm down here. We resist everything the the Whizcash does. And um, yeah, going to be able to Icy Wind into the Skarmory. We still have a shield as well, and that's going to be GG there. Another Shadow Magna Zone. So at this point, again, we're at the... Okay, if we don't switch right away, we probably don't ever want to switch until they use energy um, into Obama Snow, that is. Um is interesting to note the other magnazone i believe also had a quagsire i wonder if this is a team from another content creator or something like that um obviously this is a neutral matchup plus we had energy um which is fine they end up going for two shields here if they do throw maybe we just let this go and then come in with the obama snow um because they could possibly get to a th another one here before we get to ours yeah so now we're going for the double shield against them. I guess we're trying to win the Magnazone, uh, win the switch that the Magnazone is against the Palosine. I said it again, Palosine, against the uh, Palosand. It's not a mana I use. I do technically, I did build one, just generally, but um, okay. I guess we didn't want them to have farm down. And then I think the other one also did have. I think it also did have this uh, Decidueye interesting very interesting all right 
Minum. This is a weird one. So Minum, I think, has Grass Knot, which I guess is going to give you some extra play against the Water types. Um, and then the Electric type is good against... Um, I guess it's neutrally... I guess it's neutrally good against Vigoroth. Um, and then obviously it has play against Whizcash and Skarmory, so um, maybe that's the play. Uh, they do switch into Altaria, and obviously we have an Ice Mon against their <laughs> double weak uh, Mon, so Dragon and Flying both uh, taking super effective damage from Ice types here. And yeah, just after that KO, just leaving the game. Uh, Skarmory again, I mentioned it earlier in a different matchup, but um, Skarmory pretty good against our backline, so obviously we want it to be in this matchup, which is neutral for us. Um, and then we probably want to win the matchup, and it's tough because this could be the Brave Bird. The thing to really worry about is, okay, going down to 0 HP again. I, I really like the play of this because it leaves no real energy for something else to farm down. And then we're obviously going to shield here and go for a big farm down here. Um, this could be Brave Bird, but honestly, even if it wasn't, it's pretty bad. They have, maybe they have triple flyer, double dragon in the back. That's weird. Why would they... Yeah, weird. Okay, Vigoroth here in the front. Obviously, this is a pretty good matchup for Sableye. Uh, double resist in the counters, and then they can't throw the body slams, so they end up throwing Rock Slide. Um, our opponent tried to go for a CMP, I guess, um, but we're going to go for a little bit extra energy. Mm. Okay, we throw right away. I don't think it KOs, but... Yeah, maybe you just let it go. Maybe you don't. I like both ways. So, like, right here, you can actually, even though it's double resisted, I think you still get the farm down here on the Shadow Claw, which is nice. Um, and then they come in with Whizcash, and yeah, honestly, I think I would have thrown the return. But maybe this means they have to throw energy into us. So, yeah, maybe the foul play is fine because we're going to get to two anyways. Um, but they have to throw energy into us. Then we're going to come in Bomb of Snow. Bomb of Snow obviously beats anything that the Whizcash can do. And then we're hoping that Pillow Swine... Uh, Palo Sand is good in the back. Uh, and it is, because it's a Toxapex, so nice. That's just GG. Palo Sand. All right, uh, Bomb of Snow here in the front is actually the Shadow type, so um, the Shadow version, I should say. And we're not affected here. This is either Weather Ball or Icy Wind, um, and it's not going to KO. This is what I mean, because Energy Ball, if they would actually go up to an Energy Ball and throw, that obviously would KO. Um, I think we get the timing wrong here. It's 5-4 for Weather Ball. Um, and yeah, we're going to go for two of our own, I guess. Um, we only had to shield once, but they have to shield twice if they want to keep it. They don't decide to keep it, and we're just going to let it KO us. But we're, in the meantime, we're going to throw two moves into it. I think we should be able to get to the double foul play. We are pretty low, but we are double resisting these counters. And yeah, we do end up making it to the double foul play. They shielded one just in case we were going up to the return, but they won't shield this one. But we have the Palo Sand to uh <laughs> to, to to face that and yeah that ended up being gg and uh again i think at the end of the sets he ended up getting to like 29 it was 29 something i'll say 29 15 to be conservative but i think he actually ended up getting to about around 29 30 and um yeah if you guys are not liking playing against vigoroth especially vigoroth safe swap this is the team for you even Vigoroth in the lead, obviously, we're pretty good against as well. As you saw there, we can go for the 1-0 farm down and then have a lot of energy going into that next matchup, which is probably going to be neutral for Sableye, seeing as Sableye is a very good Mon in Open Great League. It's going to have that good moments here as well. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, definitely hit the subscribe. Um, yeah, and if you hate Vigoroth... Palo Sand, not Palo Swine. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. And if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out. And if you want another video on the same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there. And I'll see you in the next one.